Hi guys, welcome back to Wondershare Recover It, a powerful data recovery program that you can use to retrieve lost data from any storage device. We're back with another video where today we will teach you how to fix the stop code IRQL less or equal error in Windows 10. This is a system error that is usually accompanied by the blue screen of death. Since this error normally occurs all of a sudden and ends up crashing your system, many users don't actually know how to fix the problem. So, if you're in the same situation, this video is for you. We're going to look at different working solutions that will help you troubleshoot this BSOD error on your Windows system. And make sure to press the subscribe button to become part of our rapidly growing community. Now, before we get into the solutions to fix this error, let's first understand what causes them in the first place. Like any BSOD error, this error can be triggered by a wide variety of factors, but in the majority of cases, device drivers are the root cause of the problem. If your system has outdated or corrupt device drivers, your chances of seeing this BSOD error are pretty high. Apart from drivers though, other factors that could be causing it is your system files could be damaged, you could have incompatible device drivers installed, your CPU might be overheating, you might have faulty hardware components, or it could be a particular third party application that's triggering the problem. Now that we know what causes the BSOD error, let's take a look at the methods to fix them. We'll start with the easy solutions first and then gradually move our way towards the more advanced stuff. First would be to check your memory and hardware. Since damaged hardware or faulty RAM is one of the reasons behind this error, let's start by checking our computer's RAM to rule this out as a possibility from the get-go. To do this, you can use the Windows built-in memory diagnostics utility that will automatically detect any memory-related errors. So follow these steps to run the memory diagnostics utility on your computer. First, press the Cortana search box and search memory diagnostic, and then click on the first search result, and a new dialog box will appear on your screen. Now click on restart and check for problems. Your system will automatically reboot and look for any memory related errors. In case there are any issues with the RAM, all you have to do is replace your RAM sticks, and that should fix your blue screen error. If the memory diagnostics utility doesn't point out any problems with your RAM, then the next step would be to check your hard drive for errors. Since corrupt system files can cause the IRQL not less or equal error, then scanning your hard drive for such corrupted files should help you troubleshoot the problem. You can check the disk for errors using the Windows Check Disk Utility. This is a command line based utility that will scan and repair corrupt system files on a hard drive. First of all, search for command prompt in the Cortana search box and run the application as an administrator. Now type check disk C drive colon forward slash F forward slash X forward slash R and press enter. The check disk utility will now scan your C drive for corrupt system files. Once this process completes though, you should ideally repeat the same procedure for any other drives on your system, just to ensure that none of the other partitions contain any corrupt system files either. If you're still running into the blue screen error though, you might want to restore your system to a stable point from the past. For this, you can use the Windows System Restore to get the job done. Keep in mind though that this method will only work if you have already configured your system to create occasional restore points. Again, open the Cortana search box and type system restore, then click the first result to get started. In the system properties window, click on the system restore button and then click the next button on the next screen. You'll then see a list of various restore points. Now, choose one with a date that was before you started seeing the IRQL not less or equal error, and then click next. Finally, click finish to confirm your actions, and this will initiate the system restoration process. This process will take a few minutes to complete, so be patient, but once it's completed, check to see if you still have the error or not. If the error is still persisting, the next method would be to repair any corrupt registry files on your system. This can be done using another Windows utility known as SFC Scan, which is designed to find and repair corrupted registry files on your system. 
To run the SFC scan, once again open the command prompt as administrator, then type SFC forward slash scan now and press enter. The system will start scanning and repairing any corrupted registry files. After this process completes, restart your system and hopefully you will no longer see the error. In some cases, potentially malware or a virus can trigger the blue screen. So in this case, we would recommend using an antivirus program to run a full system scan and remove anything malicious. Even if you don't have a paid antivirus program, you can still use Windows Defender for this. Simply search for Windows Defender in the Cortana search box and open the application. Then click Virus and Threat Protection and click Scan Now to scan all of the files on your system. Finally, if none of the previous mentioned solutions have worked, it's quite possible that a hardware glitch is causing your error. In this case, you can use a Windows troubleshooter to scan all of your hardware components on the system. To do this, reopen your command prompt window again and type the following. msdt.exe dash id device diagnostic and then press enter. This will then open the device and diagnostics troubleshooter page. Click next and it will scan your system for any hardware errors. Now let the system automatically scan all of your hardware and it will detect any faulty components. So that is how you can fix the IRQL not less or equal error in Windows 10. At this point, we would also like to point out though that this blue screen error can sometimes lead to data loss. So if you've lost important files due to an unexpected shutdown, you can use our data recovery tool to retrieve them. To recover unsaved data after an error occurs, Wondershare Recoverit is highly recommended. It supports different file formats and performs a detailed scan on a hard drive to find all deleted files. So here is how you can use Recoverit to get back those lost files from your system. Install and launch Recoverit on your computer and then choose the location from where the files were deleted and click Next. Recoverit will now start scanning the selected drive for all deleted files. After the scanning process completes, you will see a list of all of the scanned results on your screen. Browse through these results and select the files that you want to retrieve and then click Recover in the bottom right corner to restore them back to your system. So that is a wrap for today's episode of how to fix IRQL not less or equal errors in Windows 10. If this video has helped you fix this blue screen error, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below. And to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click the subscribe button as well.